me and welcome to Akshita's recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is really a delight and it's something which is very simple to make them. So uh, it's a super simple recipe like I said and uh, the end result is simply delicious. So let's just dive straight into today's recipe. So let's see the recipe. So here I've taken about half a cup of chana dal and I'm going to wash it well under some running water at least thrice. First you will find that the water is very uh, milky or murky. So till you get some clear water you need to wash this chana dal well. And then we're going to soak this in about two cups of water for at least three to four hours. The chana dal needs to soak for at least two to three hours or three to four hours. Now after three to four hours we're going to drain all that water and then we're going to add this to a pan and we're going to add two cups of water and we're going to bring this to a boil. Now I'm also going to add my cashew nuts at this point. Now you will get this thick foamy white kind of layer on the top of the mixture so keep removing that ensuring that nor, nor, neither the dal nor the uh, uh, cashew nuts come into that only the whitish soapy water you need to remove all that now the dal is cooked well so you can, for checking it you just take one of the grains of the dal and you just have to press the dal and between your thumb and your forefinger and you will notice that it easily crushes up like this that means your dal is ready so now we can add uh, this rice paste that I've prepared. I've just taken the rice flour, added a little of little bit of water and I'm just going to whisk it to we get a nice smooth kind of paste. So what this rice paste does is it also gives this worn a little bit of thickness rather than a watery consistency. Now I'm also going to add a pinch of salt. We're going to mix all of this well. Now I'm going to add my joggery. Now it was very difficult for me to get goa joggery uh, over here. I did try my best. But if you can get goa joggery then the uh, black or the dark brownish color then please use that. It gives a beautiful taste. I did try in several places but I was, I was not able to get the goa joggery, so I'm just using the regular joggery that we use at home. Now I'm going to add my rice paste and we're going to stir this nicely. So now you can see that the mixture has thickened a bit. Now we're just going to add our cardamom powder or elaichi powder. This gives a lovely flavor to this sweet dish. We have to keep on stirring on a low to medium flame. Now you can see how the dal has nicely cooked very very well. Now it's time to add the thick coconut milk. And we're going to continue stirring. Now once you add the coconut milk, we're just going to let the mixture boil. And once it comes to a boil, we're just going to keep it for about 2 minutes. And then we're going to turn off the heat and let the mixture come to room temperature. And that's it. The worn or soji is ready. You can see how the mixture has thickened up. You can actually see the particles of dal and the cashew nuts also. Now you can transfer this to a serving bowl. Now this quantity that I made is enough for four people. So if you want to make more, you can double the quantity. So this you can have piping hot, which I like too, or you can also have it chilled. It tastes great both ways. I hope you liked it 
today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.